We've had to have those talks about death, wills, life insurance. I didn't think Chris would be alive today. And um, just imagining him not here is hard enough. Ready go for a ride? People that live close to the edge really live. Risk takers have a love of life that is very intense. I knew the second I heard that he went to the emergency room that it had to be bad. To be told you have pancreatic cancer is probably not something that anybody would want to hear. And he looked at me and he said, what do we do about it? <laughs> We're getting ready to do a 50 state motorcycle tour to raise awareness and funds for pancreatic cancer. We will have the live film crew with us because we're creating a documentary. And Chris will get chemotherapy on the road. You got a lot of traveling ahead of you. Yeah. It's a fantastic chance to do something that matters and Absolutely. do something I love. Riding for me isn't so much the adrenaline as the escape. When I roll out of the garage, all of the worries of fighting the disease and the pain and medical bills, insurance issues, they all leave. There's only room on a motorcycle for one thing, focusing on the road. Even if it's just a few weeks after chemotherapy and I'm weak, as long as I'm clear-headed and I can focus and concentrate well, I can ride. And when I can ride, I'm, I'm equal and free. People just kind of come to him because he gives off this great energy. When you have a friend like that, somebody who just gives and doesn't ask, doesn't expect, just gives. They're so rare. No matter how scary the C word is, it, it, it's life. Hey. And I think that's why so many people uh, find inspiration in Chris, is because he doesn't let it control. We're all gonna die at something, so it's how you wanna go out. The only choice is how you accept it and what you, uh, what you do with your life in addition to that. 37,000 people would be diagnosed with pancreatic cancer this year and 33,000 of those will die this year. We are so lucky to be together today, almost five years later, that I need to make others as lucky as I've been. How often in life do we have the opportunity to have an adventure doing something we love and have it matter? It's, that's a rare gift in a life. Road to a Cure is about hope. Bringing a camera into my life is about as uncomfortable a thing as I can imagine, but I think it's so important that people truly understand this disease and they don't just see the cancer patient in the movies as that person with no hair. I've been doing chemotherapy for four and a half years. 40, 50% of the time I'm fairly weak, but during those times I've lived my life. Too many people have been diagnosed with this disease and told, pack your bags, you're, you're done. There is hope. Chris. <laughs> I try to keep an upbeat attitude, but I don't know how much longer I, I have. I gotta make sure all you know, everybody's taken care of. I have no idea how long I'm here, but I never did. Now you adjust to your, your life with a different sense of immortality. At the same time, the quality of your life can be even better. What we're doing needs doing. We didn't have any celebrity, uh, we haven't had any voice wrapped around this disease. Instead of waiting for somebody that would bring notoriety and awareness, maybe somebody had to go out and, uh, and shake the trees a little bit. We can change the 2% funding that the government's spending on the number four cancer killer into something more realistic. And those funding dollars directly equate to survivability. I try not to think that Inevitably, he's going to pass away from this disease, and you know, I hope that he's one of the exceptions to the rule. Road to a cure with Chris on his bike, 50 states, getting chemotherapy on the road, that scares me. I feel if I lose Chris, I'll lose my everything. My everything. If I do lose my husband, I will pick up that bike and I will finish the 50 states on my own. <laughs> if we can help five people survive longer, or five people survive, period, what does that do generationally? 
50 generations from now, how many lives has that touched? Every step along the way, we're touching people and they're touching us. Unlike many things, that there's a success at the end. This is gonna be a series of successes the whole way. Every day.